Hi, welcome to another video. So, RuCode has gotten a ton of updates since my last video. And today, I'm going to cover the coolest new features introduced in versions 3.16, 3.17, 3.18, and 3.19. As usual, there's too much to go over in just one video, so I'll focus mainly on the highlights. Let's start with version 3.16. First off, there's a brand new vertical tab navigation for settings, which makes navigating settings way easier and more intuitive. It's one-click access, and everything's neatly organized vertically, so you don't waste time scrolling around looking for stuff. They've also added three new API providers, Groke, Shoots AI, and Light LM. Light LLM is particularly great because it automatically fetches all available models, meaning you no longer need to manually configure each one. Pretty handy. Another cool addition is clickable code references right in your chat. So now, whenever RuCode mentions a piece of code, you can just click the link and jump straight to the exact file and line number. Super convenient. They've also introduced tool loop detection, preventing the system from getting stuck in repetitive loops. It identifies potential loops and prompts you before it spirals out of control, which is really useful. UI-wise, they temporarily migrated to Tailwind CSS, but then reverted it due to stability issues. However, they've continued making incremental UI improvements for better consistency across themes and better-looking icons. Gemini also saw some catching updates, now enabled by default, which means quicker responses and reduced API costs, especially helpful for repeated queries. Jumping into version 3.17 now, we got some big enhancements for smarter orchestration with the boomerang feature. Now, there's a new when to use field, helping RuCode choose the right mode for specific tasks more effectively. They've also refined the Ask mode, so it now provides clearer, more detailed explanations and utilizes diagrams like mermaid charts more frequently. An experimental feature called Intelligent Context Condensation was added, which automatically summarizes long conversations to retain important context, avoiding token overload. It's off by default, but you can easily enable it in settings. Version 3.18 brought in something really cool called codebase indexing. It's still experimental, but it lets you search your entire codebase semantically using AI embeddings, turning vague queries into precise code results. YAML support for custom modes was also introduced which is much cleaner and easier to manage than JSON. Definitely a welcomed change if you regularly tweak your custom modes. Additionally, they've introduced a max requests limit, allowing you to control how many auto-approved API requests RuCode can make, which is great for keeping API costs in check. The Gemini 2.5 Flash Preview model also got added bringing even more power and faster responses. Finally, with version 3.19, intelligent context condensation became the default setting, streamlining conversation management even more efficiently. The condense button was moved for easier access too. They've introduced an experimental multi-file reading feature, dramatically speeding up the analysis of multiple files at once. You can adjust how many files it processes concurrently, ensuring your system doesn't lag. Enterprise users also got VPC endpoint support for AWS Bedrock, making it easier to integrate securely with corporate networks. There were lots of quality of life tweaks across these releases, like enhanced sidebar compatibility, improved UI interactions, smarter error handling, and better memory management. And of course, 
there were a ton of bug fixes and stability improvements across the board, ensuring everything runs smoother and faster. Now, let's jump into a quick demo of these key features. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Dart. Dart is the only truly AI-native project management tool that you'll ever need. You can use it to manage your tasks for a project, create multiple boards, organize them, and do everything that you generally do. But you can also use AI with it to manage your tasks. For example, you can ask it to generate tasks for you by brainstorming or planning projects, as well as performing duplicate detection to keep you focused. You can even assign whole tasks to Dart and it can get them done for you. You can use their composer-like AI agent that has the context of all your tasks and you can chat in natural language to just ask it to do something. It can delete tasks, create tasks, edit tasks, and handle multiple things like that. Apart from this, you can integrate it into your AI clients or coders with its MCP server, which allows your MCP client or coder to reference tasks from your dartboards. You can even integrate it into Claude, ChatGPT, and much more. Most of the features in Dart are free, while you can also get the $8 subscription for more features. Make sure that you check Dart out through the link in the description. Now, back to the video. First of all, Make sure that you upgrade RuCode to the latest version. Now, let's just open it up over here. So, let me first show you the new vertical tab navigation in settings. So, if we navigate over there, then you can see it's really easy to navigate between sections with just one click, and everything is clearly organized. After that, we also have the clickable code references. So, I have this thread here, which referenced a line, and we can just click the reference, and it instantly opens up the file and highlights the exact line, which is quite awesome. Now, we also have the code base indexing option. To enable this, you would need to head on over to the settings, and then in the experimental tab, enable the indexing option over here. You can select between OpenAI embedding as well as local embedding with Olama. You can choose whatever you want here. Gemini embedding is also coming out in a few days, and that should be cool too. Anyway, it will basically index your code base and enable the coder to do semantic search across your entire project using AI embeddings. This now finds relevant code using natural language queries instead of exact keyword matches. So, even if your file name is something else, but contains the chunk that is needed for your query, then it will now be much better at that, and it will do less file hunting and read operations than before. So, this is kind of cool as well. Also, here's the new YAML support in Action for Custom Modes. It's now the default for all the modes and is much easier to read, and managing or creating modes is now quicker and simpler. You can enter what tools it can have, custom instructions, when to use, and everything like that. Finally, there's also the intelligent context condensation. Now, by default, this is enabled, and you can head on over to the settings, and in the context tab, you can see the option to change the threshold percentage of when it triggers and it is set to 100%, but you can decrease it if you want. You can also notice the Condense button is now right there in the task header, easily accessible, and you can also manually use it when you are starting a new task or something like that. When I click it, it summarizes our entire conversation, keeping only the most important context, which is awesome. Another experimental feature in the settings is the multi-file read option that will allow the AI model to read multiple files at once, which will allow it to make fewer requests for reading files. Also, for free APIs, you can have a look at all the stuff that OpenRouter provides, as well as they have added the new Shoots AI provider, which has a ton of models like DeepSeek R1 and everything for free. I have also been using the Mistral almost unlimited free APIs, especially the Devstral model, which performs really well, while I also use the GitHub models. Free API, which is limited but still good, 
and the limit refreshes daily. Secondly, you can also use Kilo code, which is basically just Roo code, with more features like autocomplete and everything. It gives you $20 of free credit to use with all the models you can find on Open Router, and just works insanely well with more good features over Roo code, like they recently rolled out Kilo Complete, which adds autocomplete to your coder for free as well. It has all the latest RuCode 13.9 features, meaning that all the features I just showed will be available here. So you can take this for a spin as well. That's majorly all the updates, and RuCode just keeps getting better. And these latest updates definitely make it even more powerful and user-friendly. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.